one of these real people is not like the others. One of these three real people don't belong. Can you guess which one is not like the others? That's right, it's time once again for the real people multi-game solitary mega tournament. Last time, uh, our humans and not humans uh, successfully jumped away from the huge mess they were in. They were really up to their earlobes in uh, laser gun fire. Um, but they got out and with the knowledge that one of them is not like the others and one of them doesn't belong and they are wondering if they can guess which one is not like the others. Um, and I wonder... I, I, I'm going to say that you can't guess which one is not like the others because for one thing you're relying on information from me and who can say if I'm like the others or not. I mean I could be completely misleading you, completely misreporting events just to fool you. How how would you know? Maybe um, maybe some maybe none of them are not like the others. Maybe they're all like the others and I just threw in a card to, to throw you off. That could be too. You, you have to wonder these things. Um, but it's the quiet time. They're, they're in deep space. Um, there's this emptiness around the battle star Galactica and um, emotions are a little roiled up but we'll see how they release. And there's also that, that, that robot on board that is marching towards creating um, to, towards bringing oblivion to the human race. Right back into it is Nine Ball's turn. As you recall, um, he is the president, and as you recall, Tater as in um, was in sick bay last turn, and as you may recall, Nine Ball likes to use the executive order card. Executive order card could get Tater out of sick bay. Um, However, he is not so sure about her currently. He is rather suspicious of the, um, that Tater might be the Cylon, more so than anyone else. So he instead did something a little curious. He rather, you know, he's sitting in his office. He could be using quorum cards. Instead, he consolidated power, which lets him draw cards from other decks. Um, he gets to draw two skill cards. He chose two purple cards. Um, neither are in his, his, uh, skill set. Neither purple card is uh, because he doesn't get purple and now he has to draw his crisis. Keep tabs on visitor. Dun dun dun. Right, a rather fitting first crisis for um, this period that I'm predicting will involve our humans in deep space. Uh, Nineball has to keep an eye on this visitor which means that he has a choice to make. He can either call for a skill check or he can just discard some skill cards he went for the skill check, which is, you know, given the skill number, actually means that, you know, as the, the collective group is probably going to need to lose more skill cards than four in order to, um, in order to pass the challenge. However, you got to keep in mind, he did just draw some skill cards from the purple deck for, assumedly, a, 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 you can assume a particular purpose. Um, so he did actually call for the skill check, and as you can see, quite a lot of cards are in there. Everyone threw in, um, I think, one card a piece except for Watermelon. She put in two, and, or maybe she put in three, I think two, and uh, Nineball himself put in four. So we'll see what happens All right now. All right, there's one. This one makes it so that if it's, it's less likely the fail result will happen even if they don't pass. That's four, five, eight. You love to watch me count. 10, looks like they got this pretty well in hand. Um, 12, unless there's some negatives, I think they have it. This makes the, fi the the high cards go away. 14. Ooh. 11. Ooh, and a big 6, but that 6 does not count. Okay, so they didn't pass technically, but um, the fail result is still not triggered because of that. As though he's... Although he's just as suspicious of Tater as Nine Ball is, uh, Brezza is going to executive order her out of sickbay. Um, 
despite the fact that he thinks she might be a Cylon, he is a little more doubtful, even though numerically they're the same. Jink. Um, so she's going to move out, and she's going to go right to the armory here. And she's going to have to see what happens with Boomer. Boomer does something good. gives Because she's such a talented pilot, uh, she pilots up some food, which is great for everybody. And then she runs away. New person comes out. Brother Cavill. He looks ominous. And she's going to have to put a marker on him. And then she's going to take a shot at the Cylon. I'll come back for that. So, our Admiral Tater is taking a shot at this Cylon. If she gets a 7 or 8, he is gone. And she got a 4, he is not gone. Brezza just drew my favorite crisis in the whole game. It's Colonial Day! It's a celebration. It's, it makes everyone happy if they do well in this celebration. If they do poorly in the celebration, however, it makes people sad. So he can decide whether or not to have Colonial Day or not. If he chooses not to have Colonial Day, people are just going to be sad. If he chooses to have Colonial Day and it doesn't work out well, people are going to be really sad. Um, once again, this guy is not moving. There's no one to shoot at him, so they're going to be good. They're just cruising up the track here, and they might be jumping out of deep space pretty soon. Um, let's see how Colonial Day goes. I think no one wants to not have Colonial Day, so they're going to have it. Oh, by the way, she let it be known that this, this priest man is in the research lab. She let it be known that he's a bad dude. It's tough to say how this skill check's gonna go, how Colonial Day is gonna go. It didn't seem like people were really too into it. Everyone just put in one card with the exception of Tater. A lot of Tater for her not, it not being her turn. Um, so we'll see how it, how it happens. Um, that's one. See, even that, that's not a very, that's not very celebratory. Ooh, two! That's three! Woohoo! That's fun. Um, ooh, they're at five. They're fun to meet orders at five. Ooh, all the way up to nine. That's great. They're having a great time. Um, oh, and this one does nothing, so that's not bad. Can they get one more? Oh, no! It goes down to five. What a terrible colonial day. Now, these are both piloting cards. The only person who gets piloting cards is Brezza. Brezza did put a card in. Hmm. There's four good cards, two bad cards. Those could have both come from from the um, the pile of destiny, but I don't know. Maybe Brezza did something bad. He is the one who chose to go for the check, and he didn't put that much into there into it. They could have just canceled out. Ooh, I think people are going to be looking at Brezza now to see if, I mean, just because, I mean, we're pretty certain, right? Right? We're all very certain that one of these three is a Cylon. That doesn't mean that one of these two couldn't be a Cylon as well. Um, there are two Cylons. I don't know if I went over that. There are two Cylons likely to be in this game. Anyway, regardless, Colonial Day, people just didn't get behind it. It was a rotten parade. Um, yeah, there's like no one there. See that? Terrible. Terrible. With that, I have to make a prediction. Since Colonial Day went so poorly, I am, I am like positive. Positive. I'm not even going to give you a percentage because it's a, that percentage would be 100%. I'm positive the humans are not going to win this game. Uh, if you can't if you can't get your holidays down, you can't get your life down. And if you can't get your life down, you're dead. Tater Tot is going to take another shot at the robot that's been on board for quite a while. It was on board through the celebration um, in deep space of Colonial Day. They just had this robot on board while they were attempting to throw a party. Uh, so this time she has a plan. And the upshot of that plan is going to be plus two to the die roll. Which means she has to get five or higher. It's a 50-50 chance. It would look really good for her if she was able to destroy this robot. Here we go. Boom! And she was not. She tried, though. And I think the fact that she tried might uh, cause people to reascertain their feelings about her. Without a plan, without anything but um, a laser blaster, uh, Hubba has gone to the armory. That's where you go if you want to shoot at the, the robot, because the robot hangs out at the ar armory, and then you can go and shoot at it. So he has straight seven or eight. 
and he too failed in shooting the robot. Magical strike! Oh no! Okay, so I was predicting that it was going to be peaceful out in deep space. It is not peaceful. There are bad spaceships there and they are going to try and shoot at people. That is a problem. So I will set that up and let's see, is there a special rule? Two vipers in the reserves are damaged. And I just found a stray viper among these, so I'm going to give them an extra little viper there. So not so bad. Um, it didn't seem like there was enough. I just didn't think about it too hard. Um, so they have four vipers in reserves. Actually, two of them are going to come up. I'm going to set up. I don't know why I'm still talking. Okay, Watermelon swiftly runs. Well, she, she walks swiftly anyway to weapons control. She's going to shoot at this um, large spaceship here. Here we go. She needs to get a five or higher, and she missed. That's that's bad. But I bet she. Kinda, it's a warning shot. I bet they're gonna be be scared of that. Let's see what her crisis is. Elections loom. Ooh, she likes the look of that. Uh, what happens? The president would have. Oh, nothing really. Doesn't make anyone else president. All right, so. There's a skill that's nice, it goes up the jump track. It's sad because that's gonna make this guy move and the robot is gonna move. It's gonna be really close to here. Oh. All right, so skill check and then we'll continue. All right, since morale was on the line and no one else really put in much, I think Hubba put in one. Uh, I think, I'm sorry, I don't remember. I think Tater put in one. Um, Watermelon put in four cards, that was all but one of what she had. So we'll see if they make it. Their morale is taking a beating, which I can understand. I'd be depressed too. Um, three, that throws away fives and sixes. Six, not bad, not bad. Seven, that's, that's one better. That makes it so they won't fail. Um, well, they, this one won't happen, but there's two. There's a secondary morale. Um, nine. Very good. Oh, very good. 12, and then, great. Even uh, the Destiny deck was on their side. So that's wonderful. Um, but the robot's getting closer. But they're getting closer to getting out of there. But the robot will not leave. It's time for Nineball to spring his plan. Despite all the other stuff going on, he is, he is really fixated on doing this one thing. Um, so he's drawing a card, which he can do in the office. He can, you can always draw a card. Uh, these are the special president cards. You can always draw a special president card if you're the president. But if you're in the office, you can draw a special president card and then either draw another special president card or play a special president card. So he's going to play one. It's called food rationing. And their food is actually not that bad, but he's really excited for this. He's got a, he's got a plan. Um, so he adds plus two to his die roll, and he needs to get a four or higher. And if he does, then they get one food. There we go. And he got a three. So unfortunately, the plan did not work. Um, but it was still, still worth a shot. See what his crisis is. Ah! So I had to stop it to adjust his suspicion levels. People are more suspicious of Nine Ball in general. Um, and there wasn't actually a huge chance they would be, but uh, the the roles I got uh, dictated that they were. Because, you know, he's been a pretty upright guy for the most part. I and mean, he's kind of got, you know, you feel like you can trust him, maybe? What do you think? Um... Tater's the only one whose suspicion level did not rise as a result of his weird food obsession. People are quirky, though, so maybe she she understands that. Um, or maybe she's a fool. Uh, so suddenly there's more um, more Cylons. There's a panic involved. So he, he does this thing with food rationing, and then he's going to panic and have to discard some cards. Um, but first, the base star has to shoot at the battle star. This is the base star. This is the battle star. So what does it need? It needs to get a four or higher. And that is a successful shot. So we'll just take this one. And... That sh destroys, is that destroyed? Yep, that destroys someone's bedroom. Brezza, prior to commencing with the rest of his turn, wanted me to show you the board um, to, and to explain why he's going to do 
what he is going to do. Here he is, mighty fighter pilot, out here, out in space. He had used his prerogative to jump into any empty spaceship as soon as it's launched from the Battlestar Galactica. Um, however, their forces arrayed against the humans, despite my prediction of a quiet time in deep space, is fairly hefty and there are civilian ships in danger, in very eminent danger. These guys are activated with more frequency than any other of the bad guy spaceships, at least that's what it seems like from my point of view. I haven't actually gone through and counted. Um, if they get activated at the time of his crisis card, humans are going to lose two civilian ships unless they're moved. Now in order for someone to move them, they would have to go to communications where there's this fellow here and what does he do? He he could actually sh destroy all silent ships from an area if he wanted to, or he could make people draw two time tokens. So maybe that's not a big deal, but it would just be prolonging things. And really, uh, the consensus of the group is to get out of there. So he used an executive order on Tater, the admiral. He wanted to do it on Nine Ball because he just feels a little bit better about Nine Ball, despite his recent actions. He did it, um, Tater anyway, because Nine Ball's on this other ship, and she is moved over to faster than light control uh, from the armory where she was shooting at the robot, and she is going to try, well, she's going to jump the, the fleet away. She's going to try and do it safely without killing humans. So they need to get six or higher. No one has that special purple card to add to the roll. Here we go. And that's a two. So lots more humans are dead, but maybe less than would have been had these ships been destroyed. And the humans at uh, Tater, this direction, have made it to a remote planet. And they have discovered something about themselves. They have discovered that they have another card. Um, so now, for those of you who don't know the game, I've given all the players another card, which is what you're supposed to do when these two numbers, when these numbers here in this column total four or higher. Um, the other card could make one of them a Cylon that wasn't before. So we're pretty sure, I think, if, if we're all on the same page, that one of them was a Cylon before. Um, and we are thinking perhaps another one was as well, but we are not certain. We are, we can be reasonably certain that there are two Cylons right now. The, the chances are. There is actually a chance that there is still one Cylon. So now we'll see what Brezza's crisis is. And that is a legendary discovery on a remote planet. That is so perfect. Great job, Brezza, for setting this up. So if this is a special one. If they are able to pass this one, they get an additional distance. And distance is pretty um, special in this game because you need the humans need distance to, to win. And, you know, it takes a while to get any distance. So just by beating this crisis, if they are successful, they get to add to their distance. All right. So it looks like everyone put in what they could. These three, the three suspected ones, put in pretty much all their cards with the exception of Hubba, who had a good, you know, a pretty good reason not to put in more than one or two cards. I think he put in one. He, he has a lot of blue cards, and blue would be against this. It's purple and red. He doesn't get either of those. So, I don't Maybe he didn't put any in. I don't remember. Um, and let's see. Uh, Brezzo only put in three, which... You know, he gets a lot of purple and red, so he probably had more, but then he saw that, you know, what everyone else put in, too. And I think as you play this game, it becomes increasingly clear. You don't want to overdo it on the skill cards, because then when a skill check comes up, you might not have enough. So let's see how things turn out. This is a pretty important one. Uh, two. One. Three. Four. Ooh. Zero. Five. This is not looking good. Five, that's that's eight. That's six. That's three. There's three against right there. Oh, here's a good one. Twelve. If they can, get, if this is a two or higher, they've got it. 
13. Okay, I got to see if anyone has any of these declare emergency cards because that would make it a success. Um, and that would be great. And quite sadly, no one does. Um, people are very low on cards. And the people who do have cards claim they didn't have a declare emergency. Um, this is one where there's some obvious Cylon, Cylon work um, in the results. So I think there's going to be some a lot of suspicion. i got to do several checks, and then I'll get back to you. If you notice, a lot of suspicion levels have gone up. Uh, Brezza, his suspicion is still relatively low, but people were somewhat suspicious of him after that exchange. Um, if you look at everyone else, the the levels, there, there's no other ones on the board, and we have gotten to two fives. Tater feels certain of that Hubba is a Cylon. Uh, and Hubba feels certain that Tater is a silent, certain enough to, to actually do something. So since they are in a quiet space, there's still this one robot to deal with. Um, you can probably reasonably expect that people are going to start taking action. Especially since I'm... It's got to be quiet at this remote planet. Unfortunately, that action requires using this bedroom here, which happened to be the room that just got destroyed. Um, Tater's turn is coming up, and then it is going to be Hubba's turn. They are the two certain ones. They are certain about each other. I don't know if either, well, I do know, but I don't, you don't know if either of them are actually a silent. It could be a little, little watermelon here, or um, maybe just someone made a mistake earlier. Who knows? Um, but no one can do anything. No one can put anyone in jail. That's typically what you do when someone's in a, when someone's a silent. You go to this bedroom, and you put someone in jail. Um, no one can put anyone in jail because the bedroom is broken. So it has to be fixed first. The person who's the fix-it is Hubba here. His turn is after Tater. Otherwise, she would probably be heading over there to the bedroom to put him in jail. Um, unfortunately, it's time for me to go, so we'll have to see what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament France Leg Battlestar Galactica.